And uh, they will live in other areas where there's not a lot of loose sand, but they can survive in, in like what we think of when you think of desert and you know, kind of sand dunes with a few creosote bushes and that sort of thing. This is what uh, it, can, it can handle. And they do a bunch of interesting things. The first thing, of course, that they do that's really interesting is the sidewinding behavior. I don't know if you've ever seen a video of it on TV, but what they will do is hold most of their body up off the ground, and there are only two points of the body touching the ground at any time. And then they kind of like throw the, the loose parts forward, and the two points of contact will travel along the body, and that's what actually moves them forward. I don't know if that's a very good explanation. I tried to think of a way to explain it. I don't know. It's almost like you have to see it. We'll see if we can get him to, to do it. It might, it might be slippery enough. You don't have to do it yet. We can wait till the end to get him all riled up. But um, <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's the most interesting thing. Interesting note about sidewinding. You can say that when I have the car keys. Ha 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 Yeah, geez. You can, you can cooperate. Oh, there. Great rattle. <laughs> Interesting thing about sidewinding is that pretty much any snake can sidewind. If the snake is on a very slippery surface, it will sidewind. There you go. Yeah, we don't have to fall. Um, I actually had a, a corn snake and I heard about this the corn snake will sidewind. <laughs> That's cool. He's really good. So, 